There is no silver bullet for dynamic filmmaking. Motivated camera movement generates the much needed energy to keep your audience hooked. Today, we're going to talk about a shot that has become a staple in Hollywood. The tracking shot. A tracking shot is any shot that physically moves the camera through the scene. Today, we're going to show you three ways you can improve your tracking shots. Location, production design, and performance blocking. Then, we'll go over camera movement to build your perfect tracking shot. Let's dive in. The first thing you want to do is look at your location. Different locations will provide their own unique pros and cons. Does the location have columns or walls that can help create layers and depth? Does some special angle or a set of stairs provide the ability for a big reveal? The best tracking shots have a symbiotic relationship with the location. This example from The Wrestler shows you how the layout of the kitchen is similar enough to an arena tunnel to evoke that emotion from the protagonist. If the location didn't have the appropriate look, it might not have worked so well. The second aspect you'll want to consider is your production design. Your tracking shots can use props and set dressing to your advantage. You can incorporate vehicles, animals, breakaway set design. This tracking shot from Pulp Fiction is a great example of how production design allowed a creative tracking shot. Here, the design department kept the fence mobile so that it could be retracted. The moment the Steadicam operator reached the hole, they could step through seamlessly without any camera shake. The third thing you want to consider is your performance blocking, both with principal actors as well as background. Have an extra move past the camera in the foreground to break up some action and create depth. Have an actor walk through frame in the opposite direction to help create some extra speed in your shot. This scene from Atonement is a great example of creative blocking. Use actor movement to motivate camera movement. This will help you introduce important information in your scene. Which brings us to our final point. How do you move your camera? A big part of camera movement is direction and changes in level. But there are three other aspects to consider. Speed, stability, duration. If you have a shot that is exciting and action-packed, moving the camera quickly will amplify the energy of the scene. Conversely, if you want to give the viewer an ominous experience, you may be better served by moving at a snail-like pace. What about camera stability? You may find that a scene that is intended to make you feel uneasy is best served by a shaky camera. In other cases, a floating camera can get you closer to a desired emotional outcome. Another question, how long should my tracking shot run? How do you want to use your tracking shot? Is it to get through plot points quickly? Is it to build anticipation? Is it to create a robust world? The only rule of camera movement is to give it some thought beforehand and plan accordingly. Now you understand how to combine your location, production design, blocking, and camera movement to create a tracking shot that wows your audience. Organizing a tracking shot is a bit of a logistic nightmare. Sometimes your tracking shot may require special equipment. Build a shot list. Create a perfect storyboard. Studio Binder features were created to streamline your collaboration. 